EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, we finally made it to San Diego. Now let's head into the stadium for Super Bowl 32. I'm John Madden. Welcome to Madden NFL 98. Hello everyone and welcome to a new season of exciting NFL football. I'm James Brown. With an unprecedented number of free agent signings and coaching changes in the offseason, there is no clear front runner in the NFL this year. With the Super Bowl up for grabs, this should be one of the most competitive and unpredictable seasons in NFL history. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? If they're smart, they're going to get the ball to their wide receivers and let them run with it. Because when these guys get in the open field, they're tough to bring down. But I'll tell you what, I'd also like to see them throw a little more deep. John, what can we expect from the Bills today? This is a team that has the fundamentals down. Running, passing, defense, special teams. There isn't anything they don't do well. And when a team excels at everything they do, you know that this is going to be a fun game to watch. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? I'll tell you, they're going to test the corners today. Now, the defense knows they're going to pass, and they know who's going to get the ball. The question is whether they can take that quick out and that quick slant away from them. John, tell us about the Jets today. Pat, I talked to the team about last week's loss, and they're determined not to let that happen again. You can tell that everyone is totally committed to a win today. John, I know you talked to the Rams last night. What do you think? Well, you know what they're going to do. They're going to come out passing, and they're going to pass to the right. They're going to pass to the left. They're going to pass over the middle. Now, no one has proven that they can stop them. So until someone comes up with a defense to contain their passing game, they're going to keep right on doing it. John, what can we look for from the Chargers today? Well, Pat, nothing seems to be going right for these guys. It's a vicious circle. Their poor performance hurts their morale, and their poor morale hurts their performance. I'll tell you what, they need a win right here to break that cycle. John, you saw the Cowboys practice. How do you feel about them today? Well, what can you say about these guys? They're really on fire. They're on a hot streak right now. And when you can string together wins like that, it shows you have what it takes to win it all. John, what's your opinion about the Broncos today? This game will be decided in the trenches. Now, I think you can say that about any game, but this one especially. I'll tell you what they have to do. They have to control the line of scrimmage. 
They have to dominate the line, protect for the quarterback, open holes for the running backs, and if they do that, they'll win. John, what kind of a game do you think the Patriots are going to have? Well, they had a big win last week, so that's got everybody feeling pretty good. But you can't let it distract you. You still got to go out and play 60 minutes of good football. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? Bat, we should see an exciting game today. Now, both these teams are good. And right now, nobody can say who's going to win it because it's going to come down to fundamentals. Running, passing, blocking, tackling, and, of course, avoiding mistakes. John, how do you feel about the 49ers today? I'll tell you, they're going to test the corners today. Now, the defense knows they're going to pass, and they know who's going to get the ball. The question is whether they can take that quick out and that quick slant away from them. John, what can we look for from the Chargers today? Pat, I talked to the team about last week's loss, and they're determined not to let that happen again. You can tell that everyone is totally committed to a win today. John, what's your opinion about the Broncos today? Well, what they've been doing is really changing it up, and they're not coming out and running on every first down. They're shuffling their offense around, and they're keeping their opponents off balance. And I think that's why they're on such a hot streak right now. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? Bat, we should see an exciting game today. Now, both these teams are good, and right now nobody can say who's going to win it because it's going to come down to fundamentals, running, passing, blocking, tackling, and, of course, avoiding mistakes. John, I know you talked to the Chiefs last night. What do you think? This game will be decided in the trenches. Now, I think you can say that about any game, but this one especially. I'll tell you what they have to do. They have to control the line of scrimmage. They have to dominate the line, protect for the quarterback, open holes for the running backs, and if they do that, they'll win. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? Bat, we should see an exciting game today. Now, both these teams are good, and right now, nobody can say who's going to win it because it's going to come down to fundamentals, running, passing, blocking, tackling, and, of course, avoiding mistakes. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? If they're smart, they're going to get the ball to their wide receivers and let them run with it. Because when these guys get in the open field, they're tough to bring down. But I'll tell you what, I'd also like to see them throw a little more deep. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the NFL Playoffs. I'm James Brown. The wild card round always features some great matchups as well as a surprise or two. It's a whole new season now, so get ready for exciting, high-energy football. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? Well, they've made the playoffs as a wild card team, so the odds are kind of against them. But they made the playoffs, and that's the important thing. From this point on, you have to forget about the past and concentrate on your opponent. Hello and welcome to the Divisional Playoffs. I'm James Brown. Today, we'll see if those division winners can keep up the high level of play and meet the expectations they built up during the regular season. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? 
Well, of course, they're coming off a win in a wild card round, and a recent win is good for anyone's confidence. But they know that they're up against a superior team here, and confidence doesn't win games all by itself. Hello, everyone. I'm James Brown, and this is the AFC Championship game. A trip to San Diego and Super Bowl 32 awaits the victor in today's great battle, while the losers will have to wait another year. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? Pat, it's tough to make predictions at this point. This is a big game for everyone. Players spend their whole lives dreaming about playing in the Super Bowl, and this game will decide if they're going to do it. And that is what's on everybody's mind. Hello, everyone, and welcome to San Diego, California, and Super Bowl 32. We've had an exciting week of parties and celebrations, ending with the crowning of a new Madden Bowl champion. But this is the day we've all been waiting for, the single greatest day in sports, as we watch the AFC and NFC champions do battle for the Lombardi Trophy. After a long season and a great playoff run, the two best teams in football are as ready as they'll ever be. John, what can we look for from the Raiders today? Well, Pat, they're fired up. Their opponents are fired up. They're getting ready to play in front of millions and millions of people. It is the greatest feeling in the world. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any better than this. Because if you win this one, if you win the Super Bowl, they can never take it away from you. It's halftime here at the Super Bowl, and while the two best teams in football reconsider their strategies, let's take a look at some of the statistics from the game. Hello and welcome to Honolulu, Hawaii and the Pro Bowl game. Now this year's matchup should be a good one. Both teams want to prove that their league is dominant and the best players in football are ready to show how they got here. 